Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy Nitta Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to XCOM 2 The Valkyrie Playthrough. Today, we're gonna go on Operation Demon Wheel on another, uh, yeah, supply rate. I don't like supply rates, they always end very, very badly. But today, we're gonna take Lisbeth Nilsson, our sharpshooter, Jacqueline Morel, or Grenadier, Lena Bauer, or Templar, Erica Crawford as another sharpshooter, Kelly Brown as a specialist, and Marina Ivanova, the Hurricane Grenadier, with her, uh, heavy exosuit so here we go so here we go we are in a bit of trouble the uh, avatar project is almost completed so we're running out of time again no animation that we're dropping in but we're concealed engage and eliminate all hostile forces commander i'm getting faint traces of a signal coming through someone on the ground is trying to reach us but i can't make it out keep your eyes peeled for possible contacts down there so I'm looking for higher ground. Uh, I saw the bit over here on the right. This looks actually pretty similar to when we defended the Avenger. Um, but for now, we should just move up slowly and see what we come across. So moved everybody up closer. Nothing happened just yet. I do hear movement. And there we go. We have a heavy mech. Okay. So that's the first time we're dealing with heavy mechs. But we have enough explosives to deal with that, so... Ooh, the sight radius is pretty big. That is interesting. I did put Erica higher up. So that should help, at least. But, ooh, yeah, the sight radius is huge at the moment. So let's move up slowly, because we don't want to trigger anything that we can't handle. The one thing I'm a bit worried about is that I don't see any... Supplies just yet. Okay, so they're moving to the left. They're moving towards the contact on the ground. That is probably not good. Because if they see that person, they will most likely blast it. Okay, I don't know why the camera just moved over there, but yeah. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, their sight radius is pretty big. A 99% chance to hit from here with Erica. I've also put Lisbeth on the side here, but for that we'll need to move closer. Let's use one of Jacqueline's grenades, if I can get that far. Uh, and I can. I can get that far. And blast them away without actually killing the... Uh, yeah, without killing the civilian over there. So let's nuke that area. Here we go. Boom, Boom indeed. Because she should have extra shredding on the grenades. Oh, look at that fancy new grenade launcher. Volatile mix with double shredding, six damage. That looks nice. That looks a lot better. And we're revealed. But most of them are actually pretty badly hurt. And the mech goes into Overwatch, which is interesting. Ooh. Our contact is... Uh, yeah, a bit in trouble, but we have our sniper set up, which is fine. I have... Wait, is he... Ah, he is in cover, actually. Uh, and I can hit the elite trooper from over here with Lisbeth and Erica. Erica can probably still hit the mech, yeah. So, the mech... Can I do a dead eye shot on the mech? That could kill it. I think I have enough resources to check if I can actually hack that heavy mech. So let's go do that and check out what the stats are. Because Kelly is a bit worse than... Uh, what's her name? Emily Walker? 44 to take control of the unit. And otherwise we boost the aim and defense stats. Um, let's try. Uh, we got it. We got it. There we go, we take control of the heavy mech. That is really good, because that means we have an extra unit on our side that's gonna be one of ours, at least for a few turns. That might, however, trigger some more units. So that's the animation that's running, but for some reason it's not showing us. Oh yeah, okay. No worries, no worries. The mech is hacked, and I'm assuming I can't do anything with it just yet, no. Um, I can actually see the turret from here, which is kind of ridiculous. That is kind of ridiculous. Um, 
Elite Trooper, can you please die? With a shot from Lisbeth. And she misses, okay. I got nothing. That's too bad, but Erica also has a shot. And she can either hit the Elite Trooper for 83. The one up top for 65. Or the turret. Hmm. What are my shots with the other people here? I could easily flank that elite trooper. So I think I need to go for the one up top. So let's fire a 65% shot at that one. It's risky, but at least... There we go. Erica comes through with 8 damage. Only the best. Only the best indeed. Erica Crawford gains an ability point from the ambush kill. And then Lena can go and rend this elite trooper. A righteous strike. And slashy boo. Oh, and he reanimates. That's the reanimation, right? Yeah, undying loyalty. I can definitely use parry with Lena, but that is, of course, the uh, the downside of the fact that we triggered that dark event. So now there's zombies on the field. And they can do that immediately, which is also interesting. Um, so let's put Marina in full cover over here. And then fire on that Psy zombie. Hopefully she doesn't panic. I think that was a hit. There we go. Zombie down. The mech is hacked, but it's probably going to get fired upon by the turret now. There we go. That's actually really good, because I want this thing to be weakened. Just in case it wakes up again. And it's a nice targeting uh, disc. Now, um, let's see with the mech. I can actually move forward a little bit, because this thing has a, a rocket barrage, by the way. Um, let's put the mech over here as a big... Huge little targeting disc. And there we go. We spot. Holy crap. That's two bolts. Is that a double codex, an archon, a muton, and a specter? That is not good. Okay. Well, our Mac is going to die soon. Let's see, because that rocket barrage has quite a bit of uh, range. Micro missiles target an area with explosive missiles. Uh, if I do that on the codex, that's going to be bad, because of course those are going to start duplicating, and I don't want to have that happen. I can take care of the Spectre and the Archon like this. So let's do that. I don't care about the survivability of that mech. I'm just going to use it as a, a way of damaging a few guys. So that's good. Now, I do have sight on a few with Lena, which is actually pretty bad. Volts could actually be used to... Huh. So it actually does more damage to the Codex. Or we do Stun Strike against either one of them. Let's wait with that. Let's see what our shots are with the sniper rifles. 67 on the Spectre. I would leave the Spectre for last. Or 65 on the Codex. And then Lisbeth over here only has side on the turret. Um, which I might actually do. Although she's in a really bad position for later. So let's just target the turret for now. Um, that eye isn't going to change much I suppose now. Or I could move her closer. I think I'm going to do that. Because what is she, with whom is she a bond mate? With Jacqueline. That could be interesting as well. So if I move Lisbeth closer. Clear? And I move to Jacqueline. Jacqueline can move a little bit closer as well. Indeed, I would think that's doable. And right now, she doesn't really have the range. If I use one of the grenades, she has a wide radius, but she doesn't have the range. So I need to put her closer. How close can I get her without risking her life completely here? So there we go. Let's have Jacqueline move up. And that gives her sight on a few people. 
Now, Lisbeth, give your bomb made action to Jacqueline. Nothing to fear. If I don't get a good shot with Jacqueline, I might as well use her to do something else. But for now, this plasma grenade... Can that go up? It can't reach too far away. That is bad, because I can't... Ah, there's a muton. I kind of forgot about the muton as well. Let's hold off for now. I could probably remove the cover from the specter. Or even from the... Hmm. From the codex. But then I would be wasting my ammo as well. Let's, let's hold off. You know what? I think I'm going to start by using the rocket launcher from Marina on both the Muton and the Codex. The top Codex, that is. So like this. So that's going to shred the armor of the Muton completely. That's really good. And then that thing clones itself up there. That is not good. That is definitely less good. There's a lot of dudes. <laughs> There's a lot of dudes there. I can actually use the flashbang to flash basically everyone. Which I think is good. Although that is going to duplicate the codex again. Because um, it does damage right now since we upgraded them. So let's use the flashbang right here. Let's hope that that works on everybody. It does seem to work on everybody. So that disorients everybody. And I think that also disables the Codex duplication ability, which is good. Now, I can fire on a lot more now. And I think I can even kill one of the Codexes here. Yeah, that Codex is almost guaranteed to die, but... Lena still has Volt. So if I use Volt on... Hmm. Something that I can guaranteed kill. Which is not... This Codex. And it's definitely not the Archon. But this Codex might die. And if it jumps around... Then it can kill those low level Codex... Low health Codex and Muton up there. So let's try... It might work. It didn't jump around. Okay, but it did kill the Codex. Good, 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 good. We're doing good. Um, then I think the most dangerous one is the Muton. Well, aside from the Archon. But the Archon is going to be very annoying. If I can kill the Muton next... Yeah, I'm going to try that. So Muton 69% shot. From across the map, and it hits him. Even a critical 12 damage. That's right. And that, I think... Oh, we get another action. Uh, I'm going to reload her. Since we killed from that from above. And then we have one more shot. Um, on... Yeah, the Codex, definitely, with Kelly. There we go. That's one Codex down. Well, two Codexes down. There's only the copy left. The mech is still hacked, so that should take a bit of the brunt of the blows of the four remaining uh, units still left. That is more of a problem, but I think he's still focused on... Ooh, psionic bomb! Okay, but that doesn't explode immediately, right. Our weapons are disabled, though, so that is a bit of a problem. And the third fire is on the mech. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so I need to move out of that psionic bomb. And see what I can do about everything else. Because now... Let's start with the mech. The mech has been doing good. He still has another barrage, if I uh, recall correctly. Uh, can I actually see the character details here? This unit is immune to fire and poison damage. Fine, but I can't do much else with it. Uh, so I think I should either kill the Codex with it, which is over here. Um, or take out the turret. Which I think should be the priority here. 
Because that turret can fire twice. Um, so if I can just do this, it's going to take out the entire corner of the building. And that takes out the turret in one go. Then Lena, I think, is close enough to just rend the codex. That's 100%, so let's do that. I, strike for my people. I know the Spectre is around here somewhere. There goes another Codex, and we get more Psionic Energy from that. Which brings us to two Focus in one go. There we go. And Parry. So the Spectre is still around here somewhere, but for now we don't really see it. Um... Hmm... We are on higher ground, actually. We have the height advantage, but the defense on that thing is enormous. So let's try this shot anyway. 60%? Doesn't seem like a hit there. Oh, it does. Never mind. I should trust Terika. Archon almost down, and I don't really care too much about the, uh, the Spectre. So let's move out of the Psionic Bomb with Kelly and with Marina. Uh, so let's put it over here. Let's move already. And then if I can reach, but I don't think I'll be able to reach since... Oh, we can. We can just kill the... Yeah, we can kill the Archon. There we go. Not even going to wait for that. It's not volatile mix, but it could kill. There we go. Five damage. It was probably a guaranteed kill because I think the plasma grenades do four to five damage now. Um... And then we have the Spectre left. So let's spread out a little bit to see if I can find it, because I'm assuming it will reappear if we uh, get close enough, like we did with the Assassin. Uh, and then let's put Lisbeth all the way up top here. I'm going. And put it on Overwatch. Pistol Overwatch, that is. Uh, yeah, Pistol Overwatch. And Overwatch for Jacqueline. And that, okay, the mech is still hacked, which is good. And there goes the psionic bomb. No harm done. So there's one more specter alive. Ah, and it, for some reason, appears over there. Reveal and then fire on the mech. It even misses. Well, that's not good for you, is it? That is definitely not good for you. Because I'm going to use the mech... To move forward. Since I still have it. Come on, give me the mech, give me the mech, give me the mech. There it is. So just a little bit closer. And then just fire a hail of bullets at it. Ah. I could do suppression, but it's not going to help me much. For some reason, it's in... that's full cover, is it? Towards me, okay? Never mind, let's just fire at it. And of course we miss. Then we get Lena. Lena is too far away to do anything. I could rent the heavy mech. That would be uh, interesting. Um, but I can get her a little bit closer. Right next to this tree. And then let's see if I can... Uh, can just put it on his ass. So stun strike on the spectre. Bada boom! Is that still in cover then? Wait, is it? Why is it still in cover? That doesn't make any sense. Shouldn't it push it back? Ah, okay. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Here you go. You can have this. I'm gonna take the, the mech with us. Because I'm guessing it's gonna go out of hacking after this. Yes, friendly fire. Definitely kill that freaking mech. Une petite surprise! A little surprise for the Spectre and our friendly mech, but I don't want to wake it up. There we go, heavy mech was killed, but we removed the armor, no, not the armor, the uh, cover of the Spectre, which means that it's wide out in the open for somebody like, you know, Lisbeth hasn't gotten a kill yet. Lisbeth can't see it, because it's behind a tree, and trees are, you know, block shots indefinitely. And just to be sure, before I kill that uh, Spectre, I should probably go and chat with the Resistance Contact. So let's go down and do that, because I don't know if we kill all the enemies, that that's going to be enough. So there we go, we got 34 supplies, that's really nice. 
Um, then we can use Erica with a nice long distance shot to take out the Spectre from afar. Blammo! There we go. By the numbers. By the numbers indeed. But that apparently was not the last of it. We got that from above again. That's really Erica. handy, by the way. Why don't I take that from above on everything? Because I sometimes use pistol uh, snipers. Um, Kelly on Overwatch. Overwatch. And then Lisbeth, she still has a good position. I feel like this is a good position, but she doesn't always have good sidelines. So, oh, ooh, look, there's a shiny box over here that I almost blew up. So let's just go into Overwatch, Overwatch. with Lisbeth and then move Marina a little bit closer. We know there's nothing over there. So might as well move and reload. Aha, there we go. We're two turns further, and we find a trooper, a lancer, and an archon. Archons are bad. Archons are really bad. But we do have a lot of damage at the moment. Um, let's see. That, that guy up there, doesn't really, the, the lancer, doesn't really have much... What the... What's going on here? I can't rent the uh, the Lancer probably because I blew up most of the staircase. Um, but if I rent the Archon, it's a 100% chance hit. Which is good. And I get that Shockwave. So suffer her rage. There we go. And I think we must have hit the trooper in the back there a little bit as well. A battle Frenzy. We can bury her in a second, which is uh, not a problem. Not a problem at all. I don't have a good position for Jacqueline, though. Um, who? Erica doesn't really have a good shot. 65 is going to have to do on that Lancer. But he's on a higher position, so he has the advantage. And we get a dodge. So Erica didn't really care about the, uh, the height advantage there. And I think we still have Lisbeth as well. But Lisbeth is in a worse position. Her shots are really bad because, well, she's not really in close proximity to anybody. So I either go for the grenade with her. That's actually not a bad idea. If I can go over here, I can actually use the grenade. Ooh. Actually, I actually have a pretty nice shot on the Lancer up there. And it might actually kill him, but a grenade might do the exact same. So as far as possible, so I kind of wreck some uh, stuff over there. Because it's going to kill the Lancer, the floor is going to drop out, so there we go. And he falls on his ass. There we go, two damage from the fall. Then, that Archon. That Archon needs to die. I have momentum available. But I have a few people that don't really have any cover here anymore because I destroyed it all. So let's destroy the cover of the trooper in the back. It's at least something useful I can do. Because a 55% shot I'm not going to risk. So there we go. That goes the cover. Then I definitely need to kill one or the other. Um, that's a hit. But I don't think that's a kill now. Damn it, he still has two, uh, two health. Um... I could give some more defense to Jacqueline as a better way of dealing with this because I'm not going to kill the Archon with those shots anyway. So let's give um, Jacqueline the equivalent of half cover. So that should make her a less of a priority target. So that's 30 defense on top of that and then we can parry with Lena. This is bad. That bit really fucked me. Blazing pinions. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Blazing pinions is fine, I think, because that doesn't trigger immediately, right? That doesn't trigger immediately, right? And then the trooper is going to fire at Lena. No, Overwatch. So there we go. Blazing pinions are ready to go, but... Combine that with the Overwatch from the trooper and we're in a bit of trouble. I think, did he just go into Overwatch with no, oh no, he did move. He did move. 
But, 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 but. Oh, that's a bad shot. That's not good at all. Okay. So we have four people over here, but Lena can definitely take out... <laughs> she could take out the trooper. But Volt isn't guaranteed to kill. And the auto pistol isn't there either, so... Yeah, Volt it's gonna have to be, so Volt. Oh, there we go. Okay. That kills that. Uh, and then we just need to move out of the way and fire at the uh, the Archon. Um, I actually have a 66% shot with Eric. I might as well try that first. And that's a hit. That's a solid hit. So that's Battle Frenzy. Hopefully that doesn't make the pinions go down because that would suck. Um, Kelly. Kelly. Um... Can you move behind this tree, please? Not a problem. And then fire at the uh, the big bad above. 59. Our chances are low because he's up there. Um, Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status but, confirmed. Okay. Accomplished. Flawless. There we go. Didn't think that would have been flawless because we... Uh, we're really at risk in that last turn there, but there we go. 14 aliens killed and nobody got wounded or killed. And we got that resistance contact as well. No, 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 give me the goodies. I want to see what the goodies are, because those supply rates are usually very, very juicy in what we get from, uh, as a result. Did there, we Commander. get promotions? No. No, and four people are now tired. Um, Lisbeth and Jacqueline are still bonded. Yeah, that, that's normal, so nothing particular there. Two Codex Brains, a superior autoloader, 206 supplies, and then, oh, ho, 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 78 alien alloys, 56 alien crystals, an alien core, which is also really handy, and all the wrecks and uh, corpses from everything we've killed. So that's gonna come in rather nicely. And that's basically it, so nothing new there, even the heavy mech doesn't get its own thing. Is anybody still wounded? One person still wounded, so I'm gonna keep it over there. Um, we do have a lot of supplies now. I'm wondering if I should. No, 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 no. I remember. I know what I need to do. Sorry, it's been a, it's been a few days. So let's go to engineering and build some items, because now we can. Ah, oh, crap. We still don't have enough supplies. So back on the map. Uh oh, the supply drop is still available. <laughs> I should probably take that. That's probably gonna help. The problem is, where is it? So there we go, we got our supply drop. So let's ignore that for now. We can buy the the armor whenever we want. So now, we have 12 more days. Which is really, really bad. I should go for an alien facility. Because if I don't, this is game over in 12 days. And while I'm talking, this just keeps going. Um, I am, however, since that is still instantaneous, gonna make contact with Eastern Europe. Um, the other things on the map are the intel, and that's basically it. So, oh no, and there's supplies over there in the disabled truck. But, let's go and make contact with Eastern Europe. So I waste a bit more intel on that, but that makes another facility available. And uh, that makes us uh, that that facility over there. I don't know why it doesn't mark it, but that's that facility. So we have two facilities we can hit to reduce the um, Avatar project progress. Um, there is one already available. Oh, there's two available now. But uh, yeah, this is gonna this is gonna suck because um, I want to wait. I want to wait just a little bit longer, and I think the intel is gonna be more useful. Let's go to the abandoned camp, which gets us already a bit closer to... Oh god, I am taking so many risks at the moment. I have plenty of supplies, and in one day I get the frost bomb. There we go, the frost bomb, lying on an as of yet unidentified chemical agent. These handheld explosives seem capable of instantaneously reducing the ambient temperature of the surrounding area. Exposed tissue will be frozen on contact. This weapon is unique and cannot be duplicated or replaced. That's a frost bomb. 
let's go out and take a look at the proving grounds. I'm gonna keep in mind that I need to keep 300 supplies for the warden armor. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I should just do that first. Let's go to engineering. Hello, Commander. Create the warden armor. One, two, three. There we go. Warden armor, squad upgrade, instantaneous. And there we go. This is our basic power armor frame, providing the durability you'd expect from a giant armored suit. And it looks just badass, if I can say so myself. It's uh, the ultimate armor for the ultimate female warriors or Valkyries. Um, is there anything interesting for us in the weapons? I don't think there is. So that means, that means that we should probably take a look at blue screen and EMP rounds later on as well. But first, let's go back to the Proving Ground. I know there's a shortcut in engineering, should have used that, but Proving Ground. And I'm just going about my merry way. Um, we don't make any exosuits anymore because now we have the war suit, which is basically the uh, warden suit equivalent, the power suit equivalent of uh, anything else. We only have one Illyrium core left and we need Illyrium cores for experimental ammo and grenades. So since we can't do that anyway, I'm going to make another war suit that doesn't come with a standard. I'm not, I'm not sure if that comes with a standard heavy weapon. We'll have to see about that later on, but the war suit. We'll get started right away, Commander. Five I'll days. Send word when the project is complete. I think that means that we should go to engineering Commander. now and build ourselves the um, the EMP bomb. The EMP bomb or the blue screen round. So blue screen round seems to be more useful because more people will be able to use that then. I think blue screen, yeah, blue screen rounds on a short gun would be incredibly useful. So let's do that and let's get out and back to the bridge. How many days do we have left? It's 12, 12, but you know what? We completed our research in remarkable time, Commander. Alien encryption is done. So that is story related. Um, and we can now build the shadow chamber. Let's first check out what else we can do. So the shadow, sh 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 the shadow chamber is going to be very, very interesting indeed. Reinforced light armor. Uh, no, no, I don't, I don't, and that's instant now. Yeah, let's just do the third breakdown first. The turrets we see employed by Advent throughout their various facilities and security checkpoints are automated, much in the same way the alien mechanized units are. A significant amount of time was likely spent developing the optical sensors and targeting system, which I expect Shin will want to thoroughly examine following the disassembly process. So there we go. Eight Advent service. doesn't seem to have any issues stationing completely autonomous weapons in close proximity to the people in those cities. It really shows you how much they care. So the defense matrix repurposes recovered advent turrets as automated defenses to be deployed in the case of a grand assault on the adventure. So that means that we get extra turrets in case we get attacked on the adventure, which I think also includes when the Chosen want to attack us. Will allow our lightest variants to provide one HP going forward. That is useless. Um, we should. There's nothing story related now, I think. No. Um... So I think I'm going to go with the assassin weapons. I want to see what we can get from that. That's seven days. I will make that our highest priority. So I'm guessing we won't be able to go to the um, facility before that. Um, now, I need to take a look. So we need to build the shadow chamber. Okay. So the shadow chamber is going to come over here in the bottom right. But in true three days, our alien machinery is cleared. And that is going to have to... Do I think, yeah, okay, okay, let's calm down, let's calm down, things are looking really, really bad, but I just want to continue scanning this a little bit, just in three days, that alien machinery is clear, three days, that's not a lot, is it, and there we go, complete, Commander. we got 15 ability points from this, from our covert action, but more importantly, ooh, we got a promotion for Hilda as well, <laughs> We can now do a covert action to reduce Avatar project progress. So both the skirmishers and the Templars have one to do that. That takes 
six days. Six days. Six days. It's six days on both. And the risks are the same. And we just needed medium influence for that. But on one we use... No, we use supplies on everything. Uh, and it's a sergeant on both? Yeah, it's a sergeant on both. So let's use the one from the skirmishers. Um, and do that. So Lisbeth and Elisabetta are going to go on this mission. I'm going to give them the 25 supplies so we don't get a captured soldier. And we confirm that action. So that's six days. So if I calculated this correctly, and I think I did, that means that we're going to reduce the Avatar project before it runs out. That's normal. We're running the clock here. But if that doesn't work, for some reason, I don't know if that can actually fail. But if that doesn't work, we can still hit an alien facility. And we get some retribution in West Asia. Doesn't really care. Yeah, reduced by uh, 22. And then we get the alien machinery cleared while they're just yapping on. Ah, um, I was wondering why I had 190 supplies all of a sudden. But that's because we cleared out the alien machinery. So, let's build the Shadow Chamber immediately now. Chamber construction initiated. And we can assign uh, Hoda Majid on this chamber to build that. And that's another part that will reduce Avatar Project progress, I think. We'll see. We'll see. I still have a, uh, a promotion over here. Beatles, will you please shut up? So Hilda can go into field medic as well, so extra charges for the medkits are always nice. Better than scanning protocol in my eyes. So there we go. She looks really nice in that red armor, by the way. That is awesome. And there we go, we get a guerrilla operation in between. That is good. And not good at the same time. How difficult are these going to be? They seem to be rather fine. Um... So difficult, very difficult, but we get 200 supplies from that and just a scientist from over here. I think I'm going to go for oh, the very hard one. It might be very hard, but we do get Shadow Squad. So all soldiers on this mission will gain a single charge of the Conceal ability. Do I want to risk something here? Because I've been wanting to do something for quite some time now. And it would work pretty nicely in this context as well although i might not have enough supplies to actually pull it off no i'm gonna have to do it later i want to do a mission with purely rookies to see if i can pull that off um because it's a trophy uh to do that on commander difficulty or higher i think we're gonna go just for new brazil setting course for brazil so seven more days which is gonna be yeah very close to seven more days when we actually finish this but we have a lot of contingency Looks plans. Like so the problem is that I don't want to bring our best troopers. Look at that. The Reapers actually get a sleeveless design once you go into uh, the higher level armors. Um, so I don't want to bring with us our best people. Because we're going to use them in the alien facility mission. Which is probably going to come up next. So I think Kelly should be swapped Hmm. I'm going to swap them around a little bit. And this is going to be the squad. So we're going with Hilda Carlson as a specialist. Sarah Klein is going to be our highest level unit, our highest level Valkyrie to come along with us. Since we lost uh, her bondmate Alessia last time. Um, now we have Christina Castro as a sharpshooter. Erica Crawford as well as a sharpshooter. We've uh, upgraded our weapons a bit as you might be able to see on the uh, modifications there so uh with christina it's mostly focused on giving her multiple pistol shots and giving her possibly instant kills with those pistol shots and erica has an auto loader on her weapon so she can freely reload if she wants to now we have jessica taylor as a grenadier in those uh fancy zebra stripes with the body armor flashbang and plasma grenade so uh jacqueline's loadout basically and then marina ivanova is going to come along with us as well She's the only one not in Warden armor, so she has the exosuit, but with the extra armor on the exosuit, that should be fine. 
and we give, give her, aside from the rocket launcher, also a plasma grenade and the frost bomb. So that's gonna be it for next time when we go on Operation Poison Smoke and we need to need to neutralize a field command. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. And I uh, hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.